Hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Take a look at how to enable local security policy. You may have typed in secpol.msc and received an error that it didn't exist or that Windows couldn't find it. The reason for this is it doesn't exist in Windows 10 Home, only Pro and Enterprise. Now the trick, all you need to know is you want to enable Group Policy Editor. Once you do that, local security policy will in turn be added. So. Here's two links, one here, one here. Check the video description. I'll put this link at the top of the video so you can find it. Download this or this. Let's click on that. Click on download now or one of the major geeks links. And when the file comes down, you're gonna to want to extract the files. We'll look as soon as this comes down, just to make sure, there it goes. And let's go over to our downloads. And there it is. You want to extract that batch file. And I would recommend if you're kind of new at this type of thing, you might want to create a system restore point just in case. I'm yet to have a problem. This works 99.9% .9 of the time. So now you have the GP edit enabler. You want to right click on it and run as administrator. That's very important. Double clicking it will not do you any good. A command prompt window should come up after you click user account control. And you're going to see this going by. Now, while we're waiting, so it might take a few minutes, we're going to sneak back over to the guide, and I'm going to tell you this because the first link right here is a tutorial with a video that actually shows you exactly what we're doing here because they're the same thing. But what I want you to know about is there's a manual way to install it. For example, you might be missing the Microsoft.net, in which case this program is different than ours, and that might help you. Policy Plus, once again, is another app that might work, but I think you'll be okay with what we're doing here. But they're just give you options. And more importantly, why I'm sending you to this page and just telling you about this page is the troubleshooting. We've watched the comments and we've read the feedback and we've looked at common problems. Rebooting, possibly copying some files over, a snap-in error, which is why you have to go to this one. Is it this one? Yeah, Policy Plus, I think so. So... There you go, the link's right there anyway. Download this file. So there you go, right to it. And that's going to fix that problem. So we just want you to know if you have a problem, we read all these comments and we respond. And when we find a problem, we try to resolve it for you. Let's see if we're done playing around over here. We should be. We are. Now you press a key and Windows key plus R, S-E-C-P-O-L. Get it? Security policy. Dot MSC. Press OK. And there it is. So another neat thing, of course, is now that you've done that, you also have GP edit dot MSC, which was the main thing we were adding. And that's group policy editor. There's a lot of things you can do in here that you can also do in the registry. And there's a few exceptions where the, you can only do certain changes in the group policy. Editor. It's really cool to have. And I promise you, I have Windows 10 Home on my main machine, and the first thing I do is enable Group Policy Editor because that's the only thing I missed in Windows 10 Home that is not available to me. So there you go. Like we said, just follow the guide. I'll have this video actually embedded here by the time you come see it. And once again, just click this link, this link right here, or here if you have trouble to find that troubleshooting. Maybe I'll just add that troubleshooting down here. How's that? That'll make life a little bit easier. So there you go. That is how to enable local security policy in Windows 10 Home. And down at the bottom right, as always, is the Major Geeks logo. And if you click on that, you subscribe. If we helped you out, we appreciate it. Thanks for watching, as always. See ya.